Hey guys, we are combining like terms. So what we need to make sure we remember is that like terms mean that we have the same exact variable, the same base with the exact same exponent. So the example I always say to my students is if I said to you, you know, what's three plus four, you would say seven. So then if I ask you what's three X plus four X, you would say seven X. 3x plus 4x means you have three x's plus another four x's would give you seven x's. I don't mess with the exponent at all. So then if 3x plus 4x is 7x, then 3x squared plus 4x squared would give me 7x squared. Okay, like terms have the exact same variable with the exact same exponent. And if they don't have that, then they're not like terms and we can't combine them. So we're gonna go through a few problems right now of looking at expressions, combining them, we're also going to talk about um, making sure that things are like maybe in a certain order based on how the problem is. We don't want to rearrange things too much. We kind of want to combine them in the order that we're given. Okay, so let's take a look. The first problem that we have here is x plus x plus 3x plus y. So I see I have three like terms, x plus x plus 3x. There's really ones in front of these first two x's. So I have to think about it as 1x plus 1x is 2x plus another 3x would be 5x. Would 5x combine with a y? Absolutely not. So I would leave the y and my answer is just simply 5x plus y. For the next one, y plus 2y. There's really a 1 in front of this first y. So 1y plus 2y is 3y. 5x plus x would give us 6x. Now, I wrote my answer where my variables were in alphabetical order. 6x plus 3y would mean the same thing as 3y plus 6x. So if you write 3y plus 6x, it's also the same answer. They're both correct. I just happen to sometimes put my variables in alphabetical order. The next one, if I look at these terms, I see I have three terms with z's in them. 1z plus 1z plus 4z, that would give me 6z. And then 5 minus 6, well, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So this would then be 6z minus 1. For, uh, 3x plus 4x minus 5, I can combine these first two terms. 3x plus 4x is 7x. I used that in my example earlier. And so this would result in 7x minus 5. The next one, I say I have a 5c and a negative 3c. So this would be 5c minus 3c. 5 minus 3 is 2, and then that 2b has nothing to combine with. So my final result is 2b plus 2c. x plus y plus 2x. This is really a 1x. 1x plus 2x is 3x, and then the y has nothing to combine with. 6a minus 5b plus a. I can combine the 6a and the positive 1a to get 7a, and so the result is 7a minus 5b. The next one, 4 plus 3x minus 7 minus 8x. I can combine my 3x and my negative 8x. So think about it. What's 3 minus 8? It's negative 5. So that starts off as negative 5x, and then 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So my result is negative 5x minus 3. For the next two, we see we have sets of parentheses and we wanna remind ourselves that when we see parentheses, that means we have to use our distributive property. So when I take a look at this, I'm no, I know that I have to do three times x, three times x is three x, and then three times two is six. So I know I have three x in my answer. If three times two is six, and then I have to subtract four from that answer, 6 minus 4 would leave me with a positive 2. And so my final answer for that problem is 3x plus 2. For the next one, negative 5 times x would give me negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 3, a negative times a negative is a positive, that would give us positive 15. Well, a negative 5x plus 7x would leave us with positive 2x. And so my final answer is 2x plus 15. Last four, 5m minus 6n minus 9m. 5m and negative 9m. 
So 5 minus 9 is negative 4, so this would be negative 4m, and then minus 6n. Negative 8a minus 9b minus 10a plus 9b. I can combine my a's, so I have a negative 8a and a negative 10a. Those are to combine to give me a negative 18a. And then negative 9b plus 9b. Well, what's negative 9 plus 9? It's 0. So I would have 0b. It's not worth it for me to even write 0b because 0 times anything is just 0. And so I don't actually write anything with b at all in my final answer. It's just negative 18a. Last two. Going back to distributing now. So this would be 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times 4 is 8. Well, 2 times x is 2x. 2x plus this 5x would leave us with 7x. 2 times 4 we said was 8. 8 minus 3 would leave us with a positive 5. And the last one. Negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x. What's negative 10x minus 3x? Well, negative 10 minus 3 is negative 13. So that would leave me with negative 13x. And then the negative 10 times 2 left me with that negative 20. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.